Well, welcome back and I hope you caught the previous video where he expressed concerns about the new uh, proposals from the World Health Organization. Now, uh, in, I was going to play this at the end of the last video, but I thought it would, be, uh, it would get a bit long. So I'm going to play it now. Mr. Rob Roos, member of the European Parliament, expressing his concerns about exactly the same treaty that the British members of Parliament were expressing concern about. So over to Mr. Roos now. When I say pandemic, you're likely to scroll past. Everyone is tired of COVID, rightfully so. But please take a moment to keep watching. A new global pandemic treaty is in the works. The intention is for countries to respond in the same way during a future pandemic, more so than during the COVID-19 pandemic. There are three reasons why we should not desire this. Reason one, who will manage the pandemic treaty? It is the World Organization, abbreviated as WHO. That may sound like a neutral government agency, but it is not. The WHO is heavily influenced by countries like China, as well as by the pharmaceutical industry. These are global players with tremendous geopolitical and financial interests. And who pays the piper? Calls the tune. Those interests don't always align with the interests of your country and its people. Now, the WHO wants to gain more authority through the pandemic treaty, while various other interests take precedence at the WHO. This is not good for our countries. Reason two, the WHO is not democratically elected. Those who make decisions cannot be held accountable. And this is a very bad idea. In a democracy, policymakers should be democratically elected and be held accountable accordingly. If we now commit ourselves to this new pandemic treaty, power will be further removed from the citizens. This is detrimental to national sovereignty and democracy. Reason three, the best approach during a pandemic is not the same everywhere. Consider culture, for example, but also consider population density or how the balance between risk and freedom is preserved. It's not the same everywhere. Therefore, we should not implement the same policies everywhere. In summary, the new Global Pandemic Treaty gives way too much power to the WHO. Firstly, it primarily serves the interests of countries like China and pharmaceutical giants. Secondly, we are giving away power to an organization that cannot be democratically controlled. Thirdly, the best approach to a pandemic is not the same everywhere. So we should really not support this pandemic treaty. If you share my concern, send an email with this video to the politicians in your country. And if you find this video informative, then please share it. Well, thanks to Mr. Rob Roos, a member of the European Parliament from uh, Netherlands. Um, WHO will manage geopolitical interests. Without democracy, without accountability. What accountability have we seen from the WHO after the last pandemic and uh, the uh, issues that have arisen? No, no one's been sacked. No, 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 no exchange of senior level staff as far as I can see. Uh, when I say no one's been sacked, no senior people have been sacked as far as I can see. Um, where is the accountability for all the things they got wrong? Would you get away with that at work? I know I wouldn't. And uh, of course, it's not the same uh, everywhere. Conditions are going to vary. We need, we need local decisions taken by local doctors, local community health officials, people responding locally for the good of their people. Healthcare should be of the people, for the people, by the people, not by some external um, manipulated uh, vested uh, interest or potentially manipulated vested interest. Now, uh, Mr. Roos there just spoke in very general terms in previous videos. I'll put the links up. We've actually gone through this treaty in, in some detail. Um, over 300 proposed uh, changes, probably more than that. 
And uh, the more you look into it, the more concerning it, uh, concerning it is. So let's hope that uh, our democratic system is able to uh, ward off this, uh, this potential threat. I'm going to leave it there. I'll put some links if you want to complain to your own politicians. Um, but what, what we're interested in is the health of the individuals. And the people immediately around about you, my health, my family's health, the, the, the local people, we're interested in, in our health, the, the, the health of the people. And uh, it's local, well-motivated uh, health authorities and uh, officials, uh, well, in, individuals. And there are good people out there whose advice I would take uh, before some external uh, imposed authority. You've got the gist. Thank you for watching.